to begin the quest, speak to Muscle Ray just outside of Shiloh Village, located here on the map. Chat options on screen. Once you've obtained the belt, make your way to the Taibo Wanai Trio village and speak to Trifitus located here on the map. Make sure to use the belt on him. Chat options on screen. Once you're done speaking to him, head all the way east until you reach a log. Walk past the log and head south and head to the area located here on the map. You will find a large mound of dirt. Go ahead and right click excavate and choose first chat option. Once you've dug the mound of dirt, go ahead and use your lit torch on the mound, then the rope. Right click and search the fissure and climb down. Choose first chat option. Once in, a little south you'll find a cave in. Go ahead and right click and enter. The zombies around the area might interrupt you, so slay them quickly if they do so and quickly enter. Once in, head all the way northeast to find some gallows. Once you find the gallows, search it. Choose a second chat option and you'll obtain a corpse. Head back to where you came from and on your way back all the way south you'll find a old sack. Go ahead and search it and you'll obtain a scroll. Keep heading back. And all the way northwest, you'll find some loose rocks. Go ahead and search it to obtain another scroll. You might inflict some damage on yourself. Go ahead and read both of the scrolls and head back to Trifitus. Once there, carefully right click the corpse and use it on Trifitus. Choose the first chat option when prompted to ask where the burial site's at. Then go ahead and use the other two scrolls on him. Once that's done and over, head directly west and you'll find a sort of statue that looks like the Easter Island statues. Go ahead and bury the corpse right in front of the statue. You'll obtain a bone shard. Go ahead and use the bone shard on Trifitus. Choose the first chat option when prompted.
and choose the second chat option and read the scrolls if you haven't yet. Speak to him once again and choose the second chat option on helping define barriers. You'll now have to head west of Charlotte Village and cross the river. Now you might fail a few times depending on your agility level. Once you've crossed, head north and you'll find this stack of rocks. Go ahead and right click it and attempt to enter. You might fail a few times. Once you're in, head directly south and search the table to obtain a few items. One of the items is a light purple scroll. Go ahead and read it and make sure to read through all the three options you get. Once you've made sure to read all the three options, head back to Trivitus and show him the new items. With that complete, go ahead and use your chisel on the sword handle to create some bone beads. Then use the bone beads on your bronze wire. And you guessed it, show Triff the necklace. You will now have to head all the way east and just north of the log we passed earlier. You will find an ancient door. Go ahead and right click it and search the foliage. Use your chisel on your bone shard to obtain a bone key. Then you of course use it on the door. Enter the dungeon. Attempt to open the gate. Now don't make the same mistake I did. Go ahead and equip your beads necklace and you'll be able to pass by. Climb down the rocks and head all the way southwest. Once you find the tomb doors, very, very carefully right click your small bones, then use it on the door, and now you'll be able to enter. Search the table inside, and slay the monster for its three transformations. Once that's done, go ahead and take the corpse from the table. And for our last task, go ahead and cross the bridge once again. Search the rocks once again. And use the corpse on the table south. Quest complete.